Aries, hello, welcome. Let's jump right in here and see what's going on with uh, who you're dealing with. What are their true thoughts and feelings and intentions towards you? Now, keep in mind, Aries, of course, it's a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possessed777. And I do offer same-day personal readings. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you. All right. that are not facing the same direction here. Hang tight here, Aries. Okay, Aries, so right away in regards to who this is that you are dealing with, it looks like here that they basically start out extremely blocked off. They don't want to change their life, change their ways, hear it, see it, nothing. And so they're extremely confused about something in life here and they're not willing to make a decision on it either. And that's what's making them more clouded and confused in regards to them and you. Now, right after this, unfortunately, for you, people, a society, community, friends, family, they're greedy and using you and everyone else for money, wealth, status, whatever it is here. They're scrambling, running around, trying to figure out what the hell to do here. And it's just this energy where it's like, it's obviously not the greatest and it's not really working and they're obviously losing finances. So they're trying to see what they can do to create more in a sense by not having to do the hard work and just be greedy and take from you and everyone else around you, okay? Um, they could be having issues with people like in their own community, whatever they do with their job, the workplace, definitely as well. Right after this, they know that what they're doing, it's not even meant to be. It's not destined to be. It's extremely freaking karmic and dealing with you and involving with you, it just makes it all worse. So then they realize all this and they know all this because they're trying to force like, you know, basically like the jackpot in a sense. And it's like, it's not going to happen the way that they're doing it. Right after this here, they're in this energy. Now they're depressed as hell. When I'm talking depression, it, this is like, it's at its deepest, okay? Like whatever they're going through, it ain't it. <laughs> it's not, and the thing is too, is they're dwelling. So it's like they're moping, they're dwelling, they're not feeling good, they're not doing the greatest. It's like they're definitely depressed, dealing with what they're dealing with and dealing with you. But then it looks like here what they're saying is they have romantic emotions towards you. Okay, and or they have fun with you or they're okay with all of this being this way. And that's why they're saying they can't emotionally disconnect or walk away from you. And it looks like here, it's a bit of narcissism, to be honest. It's a bit of like, you know, they don't believe in you. They don't believe in themselves. They have no hope and faith in a situation and they're extremely unfaithful and they don't even trust you or themselves. So that's, that's like the blind leading the blind. It's the mess. So, um, you know, they get cold and aggro and narcissistic and I'll just do it all myself kind of a thing, but they're not doing anything. And once again, they're reinstating that they're very happy being that way. They're content, nurturing, friendly, kind, loving, whatever it is here, being this way with you.
Um, real quick, this just sounds like someone who knows how to use love and emotions and basically I call bullshit and I'll tell you why. I love you Aries or I'm in love with you or I do care about you and I have so much, you know, they could be a, at this point anyone because they're connected to you. But everything they're doing around love and relationships or being friendly or kind to you, it's all bullshit is what I'm saying here. Okay, it's all bullshit. They're trying to justify it that it's through love or they're in love with you or they love you as a person, okay? Because I don't know what kind of a connection this is, but they are choosing to be connected to you. But it's like, it's all to use you and make you feel like shit, Aries. So there's that. Okay, because them being kind and loving and emotional to you, no, just kidding. Now they're guarded, they're hostile in their environment. They don't want to get up and do shit or do anything here. Take accountability, responsibility of their life and what they're doing and who they are. Um, they don't want to respect you or themselves or anyone else and put some boundaries in place. And instead of going on a new path and journey, they'd rather go on. They want to be greedy and take a toxic risk here with you. That's when they're content, emotionally and happy here doing this with you and being here with you. And they choose to be emotionally connected to you. Okay. For the sake of not closing out a door in a cycle that they have to close out because they know it's karmic as fuck. Okay. And right after that, guess what the truth is? They know the truth. That they're aware of the truth. They know what they're doing. And it's okay. That's cool. Or they're, hopefully they're being honest with you finally. And then it looks like after that, it's like be, because they love you as a person or they are in love with you or they want a new beautiful beginning here with you. And then right after that, it's okay, now that I said what I said to Aries, now let me use them still, even though they feel like shit doing this to you <laughs> because it's like their lack of. Um, let me use Aries as a physical, financial, emotional, energetic crutch. And it looks like here that's just something that they've reflected on and they're totally cool with it. So you could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And that's it. Okay.